What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. Yes. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mikey. What's going on, Chris? It's been a while, man. It has been a while, guys. We have not had a video for you in a little while, and we are very sorry about that, especially at the beginning of Game of Thrones Season 7. Yes. Mike and I were both on uh, vacations, yes. and uh, we had to take a little break, obviously. You, you got to work, you got to take a break. But uh, I hope you did enjoy Mikey's tour over in Croatia. Yes. He was... Yes. Um, in King's Landing. It was in King's Landing. If you guys haven't incredible. seen those videos, yep, go check out those videos. Also, check, check out our Instagram out. at Third Person Pod because he's posted a lot of supplemental little videos and other pictures yeah. on there. Uh, yeah, so, guys, check go check out. out on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, just go get it. It's actually fun. I thought it was stupid at first, but it's actually not that bad. Instagram is probably one of my one of my favorites. And I don't like Twitter, man. I'm I'm, I'm like yeah. I kind of I kind of don't really care about Twitter to be honest with you. But uh, Instagram is pretty good, and and you know yeah. and it's up on our Facebook too. Anyway, guys, yes. Game of Thrones is back. We're here. We're gonna be talking about uh, episode one of season seven, entitled Dragonstone. So. Yes. Without anything else, Mikey, let's get into it. What did yes, you think sir. of this episode, man? Did you like well, it? Did you hate I, it? I enjoyed it very much. I'm excited that the that the season is back. Obviously, we we've waited a long year and and some change. Um, like you said, you know, I was on this trip, and the more I was walking around and seeing, you know, because I, I I told you, you know, I was on the Game of Thrones tour, so to see where a lot of this. Uh, the show was was shot, and a lot of the scenes and where everything was set up, it was it was incredible. So I'm glad that we got right into it. And um, yeah, these these first few episodes have been really good, especially our uh, our opening scene uh, with Arya. What do you get? What do you think? Yeah, um, I agree. It was really good to come back. I was really excited yeah. to come back to it. I had watched uh, we you know uh, that the day the day before or that day i think uh my wife and i watched the last episode of the previous season just to get caught up and yeah and then this aria scene was was it was it was actually pretty great i mean i knew right away yeah. i'm sure you knew right away yeah yeah everyone knew right was... away you know i was like what is this a flashback and then you're like no, right. this is this is aria <laughs> um you know my only criticism about it is that i just wish it was lady stoneheart like that would have been you yeah, know. I mean, I obviously they have to they have to change some things from the book. The book is, um, you know, a lot. You know, th we all know this world is huge, so for them to add more characters and 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 all these different plots from th it, it, it would be. You know Forever, what? You know you what know? it is. I feel like so, what's going to happen now is the reason why they didn't add her is like because you're right because it adds another element and they and there's not a lot left. So. Yeah. And I mean, as this season goes on, you know, we'll, we'll get more into, you know, the pace of it. But s especially since last season was off book, the pacing was more Hollywood than it has been previously because it's it, they're not basing it off of anything. So mm -hmm. what they're writing, whether, you know, Martin was involved or not, I'm sure he was, obviously. I'm sure but, they know. I believe but he told them. Yeah, like where to go. But it was definitely to... a faster paced season. Oh, you know? so everybody's getting from halfway across the, the the continents in you know a matter of minutes it yeah. seems and, th and that's what's great so so this first see this first scene was a great way a great yes. way to yes. open and if you if you watch at the end you know um the the guys that make the shows the the two like showrunners and producers they they explain like they weren't going to do that in the beginning but they 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 decided that that would be the best way to open up the season is to just yeah. show what it's going to be we ended with the good guys winning so it's like let's continue that vibe and then we'll get into the rest and see what happens. So yeah, what a, what a really cool, cool opening, you know? Yeah. I just loved Aria's um, quote there that it says, you know, uh, you leave one wolf alive, you know, the mm -hmm. sheep are, the sheep are never safe or whatever, you know, uh, yeah. whatever she had said. So it was, she, she's fucking badass, And um, it was kick ass, uh, kick ass uh, opener for the premiere, you know? Yep. I absolutely agree. Definitely. Man. Yes. Uh, all right, so uh, having said all that, why don't we move on to? Oh, what what was the next? And they showed the night. I think King we got yeah, we got a glimpse of of the uh, the knights, uh, king's army, and we see um, the giant whites. Um, now there was one confusing kind of point because I saw rumblings about um, the, the the one giant we saw with the eye out. And a lot of people were saying it was one one. It was one one, but one one died at Winterfell, and it was the other eye that was out. So, 
I, you know, I to mm-hmm. to okay. Okay. not yeah. So I know that a lot of people are saying, "Oh, it was one one." I I mean, I could be wrong. I don't think that they're. Um, this show is just so intricate. I'm sure they wouldn't mess up the wrong eye because remember, one one got shot in his eye. Yeah, and they, I don't think the end, that but, they would. You know what I mean? Like I think yeah, that I think they but, they knew what they were doing. Exactly. So, but regardless, there's three fucking. Or I think we saw three. Uh, giant whites yeah, so we know that uh you know and they're bringing the storm did you notice that too there was a lot of like that snow and that they're and they're that proceeding they're proceeding that big blizzard bring, yeah yeah, yeah. so i think it's just a matter of they like they bring the storm winter was coming regardless but they maybe enhance it when as they're marching on you know yeah. so yeah they got a badass um a badass army and you know fucking watch out <laughs> so I mean, yeah. I mean, there's really nothing else we could say about that. Just, um, I'm excited because I, I'm. This is what I've been waiting for, you know. And it was a yeah. They only showed us a glimpse of them really so far in these in these first few. So then the next. So then the next. The next thing they show is was well, exciting. Yes. Uh, they show Brandon Mir showing up at the wall. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Castle Black. Yeah. And that's cool. Again, now they, they, again, boom, boom, boom. They're just they're just getting you in there. They're showing where everybody is. Brand's finally getting to the wall. Yeah. Um. Mir definitely got older, huh? The actress. I <laughs> mean, so, hey, she looked. They look a lot, and of course, obviously, Brand did too. Yeah, but I he, noticed, like, he, she he substantially looks older. But yeah, she, you know, she looks like she got older too. Like, um, I don't know how old that actress is, but uh, she looks like she got older. Anyway, they show up, mm. and uh, what's his name opens the door, and he's just uh, like, um, yeah, and he's, he's like, like, "Are you guys wildlings?" You know? Yeah, and he's like, "This is this is you know Brandon Stark." Blah 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 blah, and they let him in. So. Uh, that was really cool. I was glad to yeah. see that they're getting. He's right getting away. down there. They right finally, away. yeah, get him down there. Let's. We have things to do. So yeah, they're uh, moving it good. along right away. Um, yeah. I think. I think Cersei was. I think we saw a bit of Cersei in the map. Um, yep. uh, you know, in, the, in that in that first episode where you know, Cer- Cersei's all war mind. She's that. Mm-hmm. She's ready to ready to rock. She knows, and you know, one one cool thing is everybody knows what's going on. So it's like ravens must be flying all across um, the you know Westeros because yeah. Cersei knows that 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 uh, Danny is on her way to Dragonstone. She, everybody knows what the fuck is going on. Um, even the North, they all know um, you know of of uh, of of Danny and um, Cersei sends a raven to John and sends uh, bend the knee. Or, you know I'm mm-hmm. the queen. All this kind of stuff. Cersei's like a, in in war mode. You yeah, know? well, she's 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 every after everything she's done and lost. Obviously, she's like, I'm over it. It's time to yeah. end it my way. Yeah. And um, she needs help. You know, she needs help. But you know, Jamie says to her, he's like, okay, yeah, but you've you've either ostracized or killed everyone that could potentially <laughs> help you. Yeah. So at this point, you don't have the Tyrells. You don't have you know, obviously, um, you know, every you know, there's a whole bunch of fa- of houses that you know. Are just they, not, they, yeah, they know of what Cersei had done, um, and you know it's going to be tough for her. I think Jamie feels that way. It's going to be tough for them to to gain um, allies. Yeah, and she don't care. Ah, she doesn't she care. She'll figure shit. it out. She obviously, give a shit. that's that's the best part. She don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we got a little of that. That was really cool. She's creating yeah. that map on the floor so she can like you know see like it's bigger bigger than life map that she can you know, essentially like stand on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stand on the map west. Really, really cool symbolism there. I like that. Yeah, ex- absolutely. Yeah, she's she's taken over, you know. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh moving on. A lot a lot happened in this episode, guys. So and we're trying not to make this a forty five minute video. Uh we we're gonna jump over to John. We see John mm-hmm. King um, of the North. And he's just like going over everything, being like, guys, look you know, you helped me out. Awesome, thank you. This is what we're gonna do. We gotta, we gotta gear up. We gotta get ready. Mm-hmm. You know, we do all this stuff. Uh, there was some contention, obviously, uh, with a couple of people, um, but they got like put right back in their place, which is hilarious. This is what I love. Everyone in the north, the north, they they open their mouths to like contend something, right? And then one other person says one thing, or Sansa will say something, or yeah, you know, and they're like. Okay, all right, you're right, you got us, you got us. You know, because, yeah. they, look, they know what's up, and they know what they, he just destroyed the the guy who held the North for how long, right? That yeah. the, that maniac. So 
They're like, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? Oh. Just listen to him. And then the, the biggest thing was that he gave the Umbers and the car stocks who betrayed John and, you know, they, they had sided yeah. with Bolton, right? They, they broke their thousand, you know, year uh, alliance, alliance and... with the Starks, you know? And, yeah, uh, I mean, Sansa didn't really like that. Sansa wanted uh, to give the uh, their houses to the people that, um, you know, that, that earned it, that helped, that them. earned yeah. it, that but helped you, John. And but what do you think, man? Because I, 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 I agree with John. Look, I agree with John in that. There's, there's a bigger, there's a bigger, there's a bigger fight. There's Not a bigger only battle is there a bigger ahead. fight, right? But that's besides the point. Let's just put put that aside. They need, Let's they need to, men. But they, they but, need men. Uh, yeah, yeah I, yeah, I agree with that. But what I'm that's, saying is. But uh, the, the the other side of the picture is that you can't punish, and it's actually a theme that that's going to yeah, happen. You You're going to see this thing. You can't punish the child, fathers. the children of the yeah. right. You can't do that. You can't punish the, the child for the father's sins, you know. Yeah. And he's giving them the and those were young kids. Yeah. Like, that was like a teenage girl and an and a, and a, and a preteen boy. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> they're just they were just like uh, I know he's like Lord I Umbar and the kid comes out. I mean, and... except except um, you know Mormont. God, that that chick is awesome. Yeah, she's she's a badass. She's so, actually uh, in a show on Netflix that just came on called The Worst Witch. That my really? kids my kids have been watching the show, The Worst Witch. It's basically like a Harry Potter ripoff, even though I think the books are from the seventies, so Harry Potter kind of ripped that off. But it, right. it's essentially Harry Potter with a girl instead. Um, but yeah, she's the lead in that, which is actually really cool to see her as a little kid. Meanwhile, so. here she's some badass, you know, yeah. ruler. You know. Anyway, point is. I agree with John. I think that was I think that was a way to 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 bring the North together as opposed to punishing when he when you like what you said. They yeah. it there's no time for that shit. Yep. It's every man yep. together or they die. So yeah, you know. Yeah, no. I mean I agree a hundred percent. I you know, it was funny how um he uh, you know, John tells Tormund, he's like, Tormund, you and the wildlings are going to, you know, uh, East Watch by the Sea, and you got to keep an eye out. And it was funny how he looked at the, uh, I don't, I, I forgot which house it was, but he looks at that one particular guy, and he's like, "Where the Nights Watch now?" You know? Oh yeah. Uh, it was, um, you know, it, it's it's great to see that they have, uh, you know, I love Tormund as a character, and I'm glad that, you know, he's a strong, he's a very strong character, and he's a he's going to be a vital piece to, uh, you know, to this war to come. And like I told you before, dude, they need men. There's no dilly dallying, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. It's it's time to put up a shut up. So it's just cool how John's delegating, you know, uh, all the pieces. You think he's puzzle. you think he's too focused? I think that once you get a glimpse of like the Night King, like and seeing what yeah, he did, yeah, like it's like no one, you like can't see anything. I would be the same way. I'd be like, Sansa I don't care what thing. anyone says. And here's the thing too, Sansa, like. Well, she's worried about Cersei, and meanwhile, John's like, "I got other fish to she, fry." Well, she hasn't seen it. If you haven't, that's the thing. If you haven't seen it, you don't it's believe, hard to believe it. Like you believe you you grew up believing in dumb things like that, so you have this vague, like maybe yeah. it's real. Like all the fucking you know, like they say the snarks and grumplings, you know that. Yeah. You know that uh, Tyrion, Tyrion says. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they, you know. They kind of they like they'd like to believe in those fa fantastical things. Yep. Meanwhile, when someone says that that's real, meanwhile you've got magic, you've got you know you got all this stuff. Dragons. Anyway, um, let's let's move it on real quick. Let's just go. Yes. Let's go on. Um, I think with the next one was uh, we head back to King's Landing and we see Euron. Yes, rolls he arrives. up. Friggin' rolls up that jerk. Um, oh my god. Euron is Euron, <laughs> and, and I was talking to Jesse about this too um you know he's not here i'll throw some of his two cents in he had said he's like you know euron's a character that you love to hate you know he's just, he just love hate I, I, right now i hate him yeah he's a i piece can't of shit. stand his arrogance i mean over the years um you know with with um see the the funny thing about the show is is we've we've been invested for so long now we've seen how some characters started out good and ended up pieces of shit. We see redemption characters. We see characters that were horrible in the beginning and kind of changed who they were as as a character. Yeah. And I somewhat kind of feel for Jamie, especially with Euron kind of yeah. getting uh, to yeah, Cersei's too. pants. Um, I can't stand his arrogance. Um, but, hey, you know, I mean, we're talking about episode one, obviously, right now, but... He wants, um, you know, he wants a piece of Cersei. He wants to be next to her on the throne, 
And all Cersei's thinking right now is um, that he could be a, a piece to her her puzzle, her alliance. Yeah, this isn't anything Obviously. new for her. She uses people. That's what she does. This isn't anything new. So she's like, exactly. all right, we'll see where this goes and tantalize them a little bit. And so, pretty yeah. much tells him, you know, he's like, uh, what's the biggest uh, way to a girl's heart is by a gift. And he kind of leaves and pardons and says, I'll so be now, back kind of a thing. So now I was thinking, and, and it was online too, it was a thing, you know, that he was going to get the uh, the horn. Um well, the dragon. That, what's it called? The dragon horn. What's it the, called? The, it's. Uh, I don't. I think that, there was multiple ones. I know that they didn't really mention them in this. Well, no. There, in the no, show. there wasn't. I don't think there in were the multiple books. ones. There was. There in was. The there was the there one. Were. There was the one that could. Uh, that could do some damage. That could um, take. Well, down. it could. It, it could. It can. Um, from what I understand, is that by blowing the horn, you can kind of take control of the dragon yeah. so if um you're on or i think there are theory uh i don't know if it's a theory or if it's a definite in the books that you're on had one of them right and um well they had well uh the wildlings was, had one the wildlings had one yeah i thought in the books i mean i don't know like i said I Mance never raider them. had one i think he had one or he found one yeah and they're well, really they big though they they're like one really in big the, horns. in the in the show we saw one yeah, remember in on the north of the wall. Right, that's what I'm saying. Um, Mance had one, didn't Dragon he? glass. Yeah, they found it in the snow. It was um, I forgot those other. They were John's buddies. They yeah. found him in the snow, but then they were lost, and that's when uh, Sam saw yeah. the, the the Night's King there, or one of the White Walkers. But yeah, not to go too crazy, but um, that's what I thought may have been Cersei's weapon when her and um, what's her maester. What's her Mesa Mesa Lumen or whatever, right? Was that his Is name? Is it Lewin? No. Not not no no no. The, not not that not the Maester, it's the doctor. Her mad whatever. Sci- I thought the they ma- called him a Maester too. No, he's not a Maester. He's he's a, he's like her mad scientist. He's the I guy that him, yeah. he's the guy that whatever brought the, the mountain fuck, back. Yeah. <laughs> whatever the fuck his name is. Um, I thought that uh, not getting ahead, but I thought that might have been the weapon that they were talking yeah. about for the um, next episode. Yeah, so I don't know. So so we don't know what Euron's little little gift is gonna be, you know. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, let, let's 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 move it forward here. Uh, I want to talk about Sam at the Citadel. Yes, Sam pulling up, um, doing his grunt work and puking real, and yeah, really cool montage there. I enjoyed it. Um, they don't do that. They don't do stuff like that in, yeah. in Game of Thrones. They don't. They, you know, they don't do those little montages. They've done like maybe one or two here or there, like, but nothing like this. This was they got that point story. across quite a bit, right? Yeah, that, I that's, liked that's it. That's his everyday thing. And yeah, and he's, it was he's, a pattern and a ritual thing every day. He's just trying to, but he's trying to learn as much as he can to help John. Like that's his main yes. thing. So he ends yeah. up he ends up getting in and getting the book, and you know that he wants about, you know, dragon the, glass, the dragon, and you know, all that stuff. So he finally gets it, and, and he finds out that uh, Dragonstone. Uh, which yes. you know obviously was the Targaryen homestead where Stannis was stationed uh, or had taken over. You know he to find out that there's a whole cache of it just underneath the 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 castle, um, yeah. and if they can mine that. So he's like, I gotta get this. I gotta get this to to uh, to John. To John, and um, so in that we also find out that uh, Jor is actually there. Yes, yes, and his gray scale is covering quite a bit of his body. Yeah, so he's there, and yeah, and he. So that, I guess he, it's where he meets Jorah, you know. So, uh, I mean, that was pretty cool. It's like all these characters, all these characters meeting each other. I, I, I just we're getting think, a lot of those reunions. Like we had the reunion special. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see a lot more of those in the upcoming season. But it's just been everything has just been so quick, and I. I mean, I enjoy this. I I, I enjoy these. Um, you know, uh, in the past, we know everybody knows that watched the season from the beginning. That it, it, you know, it just took so long. Everything was so long. You know, uh, Sansa hasn't been back. You know, w- w- you know, since she left Winterfell in season one, wasn't back until the Bolton thing and Arya, which she's still not in Winterfell yet, but she'll be there. And you know what I mean. So it just everything took so long. I, I enjoy that they're speeding it up, but I just don't want them to to rush it too much, especially the more pivotal things. Um, not to say that that's happening, but right now I can see, um, you know, I just hope they don't fall into that trap. 
I know. Well, I mean, we'll see. This is only episode one, and I think yeah. that we haven't really had any of those reunions yet. But we did get a kind of reunion of sorts. One that one that neither one of us uh, or any or any of our us that watches uh, figured out, and that was the Hound. Mm. Um, the Hound being brought back to that home that home in the in the forest or whatever where he and Arya kind of like stole the stuff from the guy and his daughter and then left them yeah. with like no food and stuff you know so that was that was the thing that happened and they get he now he's with the uh, brothers without banners brothers without banners i, I keep thinking yeah. army without a i keep, I keep <laughs> saying it wrong i don't know why a dog without a bone dog without a bone uh so he's he's with dondarian and um Damn it! Who's the guy that brings him back? The guy with the top knot. He's been making fun of him, so he's making yeah, fun I of the dude remember. with the top knot. And I, I'm sorry, guys, I can't remember his name. So many damn names. Uh, but I remembered um, Dun- Dundarian, and um, you know, it's so cool because this is this is what I like. They so yeah. so they get down. He's making fun of him, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you're making fun of me, this and that." And there's this one scene where he's talking to uh, his name is Be- Beric Dundarian. Beric. Derek, not Derek. Barrick? I thought it was Barrick. Barrick. Either way, that dude. He's yeah. talking to him. And if you guys remember, he's the guy that he cleaved basically in half. Yeah. And the other guy brought him back. Uh, again, these guys are all, you know, uh Raylor? Rain Renlor Rennor? Renor? The god of light? I can't remember the damn god's name. But it's the god of light. Uh in fire and everything. And and you know, the same guy that Stannis was was uh you know emboldened to um so he says to him he's like don't you want to know like why you know you know why i i was able to bring him back and stuff and he's like i've been he's like yeah i've been asking you assholes that since i since i i met you idiots yeah and he's like well come and look into the fire and he's like he's like oh he's like really he's like really you're gonna make me look into the fire like this is he's like this is where everything has led to me is this damn fire He's like, he's like, he's like. Of course, it's my luck that I'd, I'd roll, you know, I'd end up rolling with, with dudes that worship the god of fire, mm-hmm. you know, considering, you know, that's how he became the hound, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. So, he looks into the fire and he actually, actually sees shit, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. So I just love the fact that they're putting dialogue like that in there, like, yeah, I've been asking you idiots that forever, and yeah. he looks in, he sees what's going on, and he sees the White Walkers passing the wall at that East Watch. I think yeah. that was East Watch by the Sea. So somehow they get around or they get through or something. That's what that's what he's saying, I think. That's what that's what he was saying. Am I wrong? Well, I mean, it just to me, it just seems like um I don't know if it was East Watch for sure. He said he said a, a keep by the sea and the wall. I mean And that has it, to be East Watch because East Watch is by the sea. That's the only one by the sea. I guess on it depends. Anyway, yeah, know? on that side. I guess it depends, but um, yeah, to me, it just it just it just realizes and and um, it puts into perspective what these guys have to do now, you know, that there's the threat coming, and I think that well, they um, know now. Yeah, they they, they know, know exactly where yeah. they have to be, and I think that's why um, you know I think that's where we'll see a lot of these guys. You know, without spoiling, and I know there's a lot of leaks and there's a lot of things that say that John is going to go and try to get one of these whites and and bring him back down to show Daenerys that he's not crazy and kind of things and um you know that the the hound and Beric Dondarrion and 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 these other guys are with him so who knows if that happens or not but I don't know but either way I I thought it was pretty cool and then just to end out that scene you know the hound is like through all his basically almost dying and then hooking up with like good people remember he was with them and then he thought he was going to be like okay for a while and then all of a sudden he has to go back and be a killer again because it's all he knows and it's it's what he's good at yeah you know so he starts he's burying the the daughter and the and the dad and the daughter you know basically saying look i'm sorry i did this you know mm-hmm. it, it, it happened mm-hmm. whatever it's your that was your lot in life but he yeah, tries to say some figure. words i thought that was cool i really i really enjoyed it because i think the actor that plays Kilgain is I think he's great. I think he's awesome. And I think oh. he's really good at doing that, like being yeah. sincere. He's got that, even though he's got the makeup on and stuff, like he's just cool, cool dude. I like him. So yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. And of course the guy comes out and he had to help him. And he's just like, whatever, dude, just leave me alone. You know? Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so we got a little bit of that now. Uh, last but not least, let's, let's, let's move it over. Last but not least, what do we have? We've got, 
we got Danny. She Danny. finally lands on the the Westerosi uh, soil and and she gets a nice handful of 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 the sand of uh, of the beach by Dragonstone. Yeah, you know, she gets she finally. So she's home. What's really cool is that, and again, you know, at the end, you know, the, the producers were like, you know, we decided to put no dialogue in that because, you know, we really wanted it to be an impact. Like you, uh, they wanted us to feel what she was feeling. Like yeah. she went in, she sees everything, and like even Grey Worm was about to go, and like you know, and Miss Sandy's like, no, 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 let her, let her, let her do her thing, let her, you know. So it was cool, man. I enjoyed it, and at the, you know, she goes into the the the, the you know, war room. Yeah. And yeah, she sees Stannis's sigil still up, hanging. Yep, and yeah, pulls that pulls shit them down. Pull that shit down. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, hey, it was a great, it was a great, um, you know, it was a great premiere. Uh, you know, this this series is fucking top notch. The characters, the acting were were, you know, uh, they were hit, they hit it out the park. Um, and there's just so I'm excited about this season. I yeah. really am. I mean, it sucks that there's only seven, and we'll see how they pace it, but um. But no, I'm 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 excited. I'm definitely excited. Yeah. This was fantastic. I couldn't like I couldn't wait for the next episode. I was like, I cannot wait for this thing to go on. So, <laughs> um, all right, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Yeah, episode one, Dragonstone, season seven. Um, yeah, man, it just just really good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, yeah. so guys, uh, thank you for watching, Mikey. Where can they get to us? Well, of course, you guys can get to us at Third Person Pod on the Instagrams, on the Facebook. Uh, check us out on iTunes. You can listen to us and our discussions there. Uh, just, you know, overall, just leave those comments on YouTube also. We love, you know, we love hearing from you guys. We get quite a bit of comments. So if you have something that you want us to uh, answer or you just want to give us some of your theories about these episodes and, and discussions that we do, we'd love to hear it. So just write it in there. By all means, yep. And, yeah. uh, you know, don't forget, uh, if you guys want to do, uh, you want to check out some other stuff, obviously we have a comic blitz promo, go to comicplates.com. You can get, um, yes. use promo code third person pod, get yourself some free comics. You get your first three months for only $3, it's a dollar a month. Yes. You get unlimited comics. Go check it out. Get into some comics, catch up on some stuff, read some new stuff. Um, also, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind checking out, um, at the time of recording this, uh, we've got, uh, should be episode, uh, 20 should be out or just about out uh, when this, when this releases episode 20 of retro squat. Uh, it's a podcast I do. It's a retro podcast where we talk about, uh, properties from the eighties and nineties. Um, and we randomly choose them and we mash them all up. It's pretty fun. It's really cool. Uh, I'd love to get more people to listen to that. So if you guys could, if you want to head over to iTunes, get it over there. You can go to, you can get to us on all the, on the socials at retro squat too. check that out. If you're not into retro stuff, tell a friend who is. You know, tell that geek yeah. friend in your life, you know, or whatever. But uh, yeah, we want to get more people watching that. So um, I'm going to end up, I'm going to start putting some clips that, uh, you know, I'm working on some video stuff for that. So we're going to put some clips here. But uh, but until then, man, just check it out. Um, and that's going to do it, guys. Also, don't forget on Instagram, go check out the stuff that Mike put for his travels into Westeros. Yeah, uh, on YouTube there. as well. Check those out, those check videos. Out the, yeah, we, we got a bunch of videos also about this, like uh, four videos, I think, that we were able to get up. Yes. So go check those out over on, you know, on this channel here on YouTube. So once again, guys, thank you so much. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next Game of Thrones video.